What's happening, everybody? This is Phil from MDC, and yes, I got a bunch of stuff to look at today. Really cool. We had our uh, monthly meet last night at the uh, CAM, so I'm really pretty stoked. I picked up some. I picked up some older stuff. I picked up some stuff I didn't even know existed, to be honest with you. Uh, I picked up. I just got a ton of stuff, and I'm really, really stoked about this video, everybody. Okay, because I've got some really, really nice and older stuff and as you can see in the back there's a couple of things that i did pick up and uh this camaro is one thing i'm pretty stoked about okay it is the 69 chevrolet camaro looks like it's in a zamac it does have the rubber bands what scares me a little bit but uh being a zamac i don't think it should have affected it too much so i'm pretty pretty stoked about this one guys looking really really awesome um, on top of that, picked up this Real Riders Dodge Challenger funny car, looking pretty cool as well. Is uh, didn't don't have it in these colors, and it is a bit of a funky casting. Not a lot of people are crazy about it, but I do like the funny cars, and I think this one is pretty awesome. So we are cracking that bad boy open. Got this bad boy right here, which I'm pretty stoked about. It is a Dodge Viper, okay, GTS with opening hood i believe it's the only one i have in my collection okay which uh like i'm saying is going to be the first in my collection really really stoked about this guy here uh it is a set of uh one of four i don't have all four i think one of them was the uh was a pickup or a dodge ram I didn't pick that up, and a 70 Plymouth Superbird, which I didn't see there, so I didn't pick it up. I did pick up this guy right here. Okay, we got the 70 Plymouth Barracuda, and what's cool about that is I got a color variation of it, which is pretty awesome as well. So we've got the green and the yellow looking really, really cool. Really happy about that as well, everybody. Did pick up another drag strip demons, which I didn't have. So getting this set closer to closer to being finished. Uh, I've seen this car a couple of times at the uh, the meets. I never did pick it up. I always thought I had it. This time I made sure I didn't. So I went and picked it up. Really happy about that. Got this guy here. Really stoked about this one too. This is a final run, everybody. 2002 Porsche 928. Okay, this is the... Uh, the last production of this casting, which I'm really, really happy about getting this one too. And it said somewhere here, uh, I think there was only, I don't know where it says it. There was uh, one of 12 cars. Uh, it said something about being a limited shot of this. I don't remember where, uh, could be wrong. Yeah, I might be wrong. Okay. Anyways, we do have this limited run, and yes, we are going to crack it open. Got this guy here. Really stoked about this. Parking plates, Hot Wheels, Firebird. Really, really awesome piece. We are going to open this one, too. Looks amazing, this one. Just can't wait to get that out. And some older main lines, guys. I did pick up some older main lines. I got this Thunderbolt. Okay, and this gold color did not have this one yet, and it is a casting I collect. Got this beautiful orange 71 Plymouth GTX, which is also a casting I collect. And I did not have it in orange, have it in yellow, I have it in green, and I believe it's even in red. Got this guy here from 2009. Beautiful looking purple color. Gonna get that one opened. Got a Roadrunner I didn't think. Very strange because I thought I had all the Roadrunner uh, castings. And saw this one there yesterday and I do not have this one. So I was really surprised to find a Roadrunner that I didn't have. Got another 69, uh, 67 Camaro, which is pretty cool. This one here came out in a few colors. Uh, I believe uh, blue... Uh, God, I don't even remember all the colors, guys, but this one I did not have. Red tinted windows looking pretty awesome in this matte satin gray. And then we got a couple of blue cards, which I'm pretty stoked about as well. Okay, we've got the Camaro Z28, 
ultra hot wheels and this one is from uh well it's card number 33 so it's quite old uh this one the uh, date on here is actually 1991 so it's not that old but it's up there and we got this another one at card number 33 sitting on black walls camaro z28 and this one also i guess card number 33 this is a 1990 production so it was just before the other one kind of strange that they're both card number 33 and a year difference anyway we got those guys so that's what I picked up at the monthly meet uh, last night, everybody. Really, really stoked about this episode, as I said. We've got some pretty cool cars to look at. And some cars that you don't really see every day, okay? So, let's get that trusty uh, turntable set up. And let's dig into some of these Hot Wheels, guys. All right? Let's crack them open. Okay, everyone, I figure we'll crack open these main lines. Let's get these main lines opened uh, real quickly, and then we'll dig into the premiums, everybody, okay? So starting off with the uh, 2009 67 Camaro from the Dream Garage series in this satin gray or silver. Let's just crack it open, and we'll find out exactly what color it is. I love this Camaro casting, guys. This is the one with the opening hood metal base it is awesome and it is like i said it is a matte metallic gray which is really awesome they, they they did a few variations of this car and this one is just gorgeous and as i said does have the opening hood and it does have that camaro problem not all of the hoods open very well and this one is one of them so we are not going to break it but anyways red tinted windows Looking really awesome, and I just love this Camaro version, guys. I always think these matte cars, a lot of them just look awesome. I love this old matte, matte paint that they used to use, Mattel. And she is just beautiful. And it's a really rough matte finish, too, which I like. Chrome front just beautiful and like i said it is a solid metal base on here which is just beautiful i love it okay off to the side that one goes let's crack open the gold thunderbird also from two oh, this one's from 2010 everybody and as i said it is a casting i collect and here she is in this metallic gold flake I just love the look of this car. Honestly, I think this car is just a crazy, crazy good-looking vehicle. Let's see if I can get the camera just a bit better, guys. See the car a little better? There we are. And that is sweet. This Thunderbolt always sits really nice. Just a beautiful casting. Okay, moving on. Moving on, we have the 71 Plymouth GTX in Hemi Orange. Perfect color for this car. As I said, I do have it in yellow, do have it in red, do have it in green. And now I believe we've completed it in this orange. And that is just so clean and so beautiful. Another great casting. We actually do not see this casting. Well, we've seen it, I think, a couple of times in premium. But we haven't seen it that often. I believe in the past few years, it's only been released once. And it was in the uh, Fast and Furious in black. And we haven't seen it much more than that. Be a nice car to see out in premium again. She is beautiful. Okay, next one on the list is the 69 Camaro from Musclemania, also from the 2009 series. And this one, I love the color. I really, really love the color on this. This is a metallic flake purple looking real, real sweet.
gray plastic base and there she is that is a nice color for a mainline looking beautiful and the last well we have three more main lights to check out two of them are older ones so let's crack open this Motown Metal 2000 was it 2006 really was it that that long ago 2006 no this is 27 it was released guys I just want to show you this fast fast okay because I'm a bit nostalgic with this and I I, I just loved when Hot Wheels did this you remember these cards, everybody? They had the color on the side. The treasure hunts used to have a green side. Okay, the supers, the regulars, and all the other series, they had different colors. I used to love when Hot Wheels did this. Finding the supers were just so easy and so much fun. When you saw that green pass, that side, you knew it was there. I wish Hot Wheels would bring that back. Maybe not for the uh, the scalping public because uh, they would just gobble up everything that's green. But I just like these cards. I thought they were cool. Maybe the card art isn't as good because it was a basic, basic card art. But just this stripe on the side I used to think was awesome. And I'm very nostalgic about that. But anyway, here we are. The 1970 Plymouth Roadrunner that I thought I had all of them and I was wrong. So I may have to do a bit more homework, everybody. And see if just there is more Hot Wheels Roadrunners out there that I don't have. And it was a very big surprise because I really honestly thought I had them all. And this one is nice in this also metallic flake burnt orange. And has this kind of tribal striping on it. But I'm just a huge fan of the Roadrunner casting and glad to have this one in the collection. Now I'm glad that they fixed the Roadrunner lately. Having the wheels in the front actually going inside the wheel well, which makes a huge difference on the Roadrunner. They kept the rest of it the same, which is great because the rest of the casting is actually bang on. It was always just those front wheels. And they've recently fixed it. So now hopefully we'll get to see a bit more Roadrunners come out from the uh, Mattel line. Which for me would be a real bonus. Okay. Two black, uh, well not black wall. One Ultra Hot. Camaro Z28 from the early 90s. Okay. Awesome score I believe. I really think these are great. And here we are. Ultra Hot Wheels. Solid metal base. I mean, they didn't they didn't mess around Hot Wheels back then. Release date on here, 1982. Beautifully heavy car. Now this one here, it has no, I believe has no interior, okay? Because this is uh, smoked blacked windows. You can't see anything through them. So I believe they didn't put an interior on it, but this much of a solid black uh, as a solid metal base i think she's hollow inside but nevertheless that's a cool looking casting and this next one the black wall version is no slouch either but this one here is very very light as to where the one with the ultra hots right there is a very heavy casting because of the base. Very solid casting. This one here is an extremely light casting. It has a plastic base. I believe also does not have an interior because it is uh, smoked out windows. Actually, yeah, you can you can pretty much see through this window here, and I see an axle. So there's no interior at all in this one, and that's why it's very light. And I think they used a different metal on this car. Because as I say, it is extremely, extremely light. But this is the black wall version, everybody. And that's a funky color. 
a funky purple color. Almost looks like a revealers. Crazy deco. Which honestly, I'm not really that crazy about the deco, but it is a casting I collect, so I was really, really glad to see this one and an old version of it at uh, at best. Just love these black walls. I mean, if you're going to have a Hot Wheels museum, everybody, you have to have the red lines, you have to have the black walls, you have to have the ultra hots. I mean, that's what having a Hot Wheels museum is all about, is seeing all the years of Hot Wheels and the transformations that they've done. It's just awesome to have a collection like that, guys. Okay, so if you're building your collection, keep your mind open, guys. Don't just keep yourself to the new stuff. You got to get into the old stuff as well. There's some crazy stuff out there. Okay, now let's crack open this parking plates Firebird. And I'm stoked about this one because usually the old Firebirds like this, they had a huge wheel gap and it just didn't fit properly. Like they had a wheel gap like this. But when you sit the car down on uh, when you sit this car down, it sits beautifully, which is great. Gold plastic base, tan interior, blacked out car. This thing is beautiful. But watch when I sit it down; it just sits perfectly, which is rare for this model of this year. That is really well done. And it's in pretty good condition for an open car. I did get a good deal on this one too, so. But look at the graphics on this. I mean, the graphics were done nicely on this car. So period correct. And I don't believe there is a ton of these cars out there. I think it's a little bit on the hard to find side. This one was released in 1982, everybody. All right. So it's a little while back. Does have a bit of paint rash here. Okay, which may be able to buff out with a bit of wax. We'll try it out and see. But it should come out. Other than that, there's no flea bites, no nothing. I mean, the car is in great shape. And these wheels are just so period correct. I love it. Looking great. There it is, the parking plates. Okay, before we get into the premium, I think we'll crack open this 928 final run because I do believe that this is not sitting on real riders. It's got to be sitting on plastic tires, I'm sure, as it is the uh, last run of this car. Um... It's a bit sad to see this casting go. I know a lot of people uh, don't like it because it's a bit large. But it was still an awesome, awesome looking 928 for its time. Okay. This car was just beautiful. And we are going to crack this bad boy open. All right. Let's get to it. No sense of feeling bad about it because I don't. Sorry, everybody, you are looking at a blank uh, turntable. Sorry about that, everyone, but I uh, gotta get this guy out. There we go. And there it is. Here you go, everybody. Here's the card. There's the card. Final run. And this year here, they did retire a few cars. They retired the Ford Bronco Ambulance, By the Way Man, 
Spin Out, Firebird, Funny Car, Rig Wrecker, Lamborghini Diablo was discontinued in this year. Dusenberg Model J, Mustang GT 1996, Dodge Charger Daytona 1970 was released, was final uh, run then, and the Twain Thang. So they discontinued a few cars this year. It is sitting on plastic tires, I was right, not rubber tires, okay. Look at that solid metal black base. Chromed out windows, final run 2002. Well, let's get it out. Wow, that's sweet. Honestly, what a, what a fitting end to this car. This is gorgeous, guys. Look at this color. It is like a mirror, mirror black, like a chrome mirror black, which is awesome. That is just beautiful. What a way to finish this car. Nice mags. As I said, solid metal base. Beautiful deco in the rear. Awesomely done front. I mean, this car is just sweet. And to see it go is pretty sad. What a beautiful, beautiful model. I love this paint, everybody. This paint is something else. To see it in your hands is a lot different than when you see it on camera. Like the color you guys see on camera looks awesome. But when you have it in hand, the color just is unreal. I mean, I can see my face in the paint. It's just so well done. Gorgeous, gorgeous paint. That is sweet. Okay, now we are going to dig into premium, everybody. Okay. And we are going to start off with the drag strip demons. We're going to crack this bad boy open. We do have the Sox and Martin Super Stock Barracuda. Love the colors on this. Beautiful American flag colors. I mean, this is just great. For an American car, you can't beat having these colors. This is beautiful. Love this car, guys. Love this car. Here's your coloring. Gorgeous paint on here. Just a beautiful, beautiful paint. Solid metal base with all the drag strip demons are like that. Nice thick tires in the back. Beautiful tires for the front. Car sits perfectly. I mean, that is an awesome looking drag car. Simply gorgeous. Chrome metal bumpers. All the sponsors on it. Just a beauty. This is the third version of this casting I have in my collection. Was released also in, I think... Uh, well, that Mopar one, I'm not sure where it came out from. I don't remember, but... Uh, it's funny, eh? i got to go back to my list. Well, there's a lot of cars on the wall, but anyways, I have to go to the list for some of them to remember, but this one here is a gorgeous one. Real Riders, Dodge Char Challenger, funny car, guys. We are cracking this guy open. And this, this Real Riders packaging was a very strange packaging, everyone. It has the bubble... Okay, and we have a crack in it here, but hopefully the car is fine. Didn't notice that before. I don't know how. Anyways, these are limited edition runs, okay, with the Real Rider logo. 
and these were released in 2005 okay so probably came out in 2006 and these are it's an awesome set everyone if you're not familiar with this real rider set you should check them out because they've got some really awesome cars in this set and uh this one here is definitely no slouch get her out but i believe it was a very underrated set because you don't see a lot of them around you don't see a lot of people showing these or uh buying these or anything like that and it is a pretty cool real riders set the castings were solid castings just beautiful castings everybody and this one being no slouch it is an extremely heavy casting for its size okay it is solid metal solid metal base and just look how thick that zamac is everybody okay i mean that is a solid metal body on this car okay beautiful rear rider tires i mean the car is just gorgeous does open the engine is completely metal as well doesn't have anything to hold it open though which is a bit strange usually they have the piece to hold it open well this one doesn't anyway there it is i love these colors i love the way the flames look on this car with this pearlescent white i think this is just an amazing amazing version of this challenger now you may not like the casting personally but you have to admit this car does look good should have rear tail lights i agree but the car itself looks pretty good got the front done what a solid piece gorgeous gorgeous solid piece okay i'm gonna let that one spin while we crack open this camaro okay this one i'm a little bit worried about everyone like i said it does have the rubber bands so i want to get this guy out and uh, take a look at that because yeah as i said i'm a little bit worried about it so lucky it is a zamac it's not paint if it was paint i'd be really worried about it but being a zamac I'm hoping that it didn't really ruin it much. Now, guys, these Hot Wheels 100%, this is another amazing lineup, okay? For you, those guys that don't know the 100% Hot Wheels line, there are tons of cars they did, okay? And all of them are just amazing. 100% Hot Wheels are usually scaled exact 164, and are just solid cars usually you get the rubber uh, tires solid metal bases you get everything like that and that's what makes the car just perfect let's get her out here we go this is how it's all packaged up inside crazy lots of cardboard waste back then and we get some, uh, this was released one, by the way. This was released in, is there a date on here? It'd be crazy. It doesn't look like, the, 1998, guys, this one came out. 1998. And it's pretty cool because it came with, at that time, it came with uh, a Hot Wheels offer. <laughs> He got to mail this in, fill out the information here, mail it in, and it came with a two-year limited warranty. Go figure that one out, eh? Strange, strange, strange. Anyways, let's move this bad boy to the side and make place for this guy right here. Comes in a display case, which is pretty awesome okay now this camaro i didn't know existed 
I did not know that the Zamak existed. Oh my god, this guy's hard to get out. Ah, oh, you snake. Ah, gotcha. We got you. Now, as you can see, which is pretty bad, the plastic band, the rubber band is falling apart here. Which technically could be a good thing because maybe we didn't scorch the Zamak at all. Oh, we're looking pretty good. We're looking pretty good here. It's stuck on this side. But it did not mark the Zamak, guys. We are so lucky. We are so lucky. Look at this. Is that not sweet? Scorched a little bit here, but I think it will rub off. Okay, being all metal. Yeah, that should rub right off. That is going to be a beauty. Very, very nice. Wow, that is just gorgeous, everyone. That is just gorgeous. A metal zam... Hey, I can't believe it. I'm, I'm stoked. I'm stoked about this. Hold on, guys. Let's clear that trusty turntable. Clean it up a bit. Get all this debris off. Put you back here. Let you spin while I get out the trusty uh, screwdriver. Didn't, didn't think of that uh, screwdriver yet, but here we go. This car is buzzing me out, everybody. I'm loving it. I'm loving this Zamac version. Let's get her off her prison. Wow, hey, even these screws are not that hard to take off, which is a definite bonus as well. Oh, both of them were very easy to get off. That's nice. And here it is, everyone. And that, that to me is just sweet. I just loving that. Solid metal base, guys. Metal chrome base. Real rider tires. I mean, look at that. That's really weird how they did that front detail. I've never seen Hot Wheels detail like that in the front. That is seriously old school. Tiny, tiny lights, but just done very strange. It's like it's like a Zamac finish, metal, even on the front lights. The rear, the rear is done very nicely. You got the SS. That is done sweet. But look at this Zamac color, guys. Just a raw 69 Camaro. With opening hood. Now the hood was open a lot bigger. There we go. And you've even got painted detail in the engine. That is so sweet. Honestly, very stoked about this. And I find this was an awesome buy. Okay, guys, the last three cards that we're going to look at here, the last three is from the Mopar set. Okay, set of four. Technically, I only got two cars because I did get one variation. So there is another two cars in the set that I have to uh, I have to find. All right. So we are going to start off with the Viper, and we are going to end off with the two uh, Barracudas. All right. So here we are. We have the Dodge Viper GTS, also with all opening hood which is brand new to my collection as well. I do believe I have a version of this Viper. I've got, yeah, there was a Super Treasure Hunt back in 2008, I believe, or 2009. And there was the Super Treasure Hunt also released again, and I think it was 2012 or 13, possible. So it has been a Super Treasure Hunt twice. And I don't have any other releases of it. So that this one is a definite bonus. 
because it is the only one in my collection that has the opening hood. Which is pretty awesome. I'm pretty stoked about this one, actually, guys. Off to the side. And look at this. This is pretty nice. Pretty well done. Real rider tires. Solid metal base. Beautiful paint. Great detail on the wheel in the back. The spare. And yields the opening hood with painted engine detail. I mean, that is pretty cool. That is a pretty sweet looking Viper, guys. And the hood closes pretty decently as well. Not too big of a gap. I would say Hot Wheels did an awesome job on it. And this is the first time I see this casting, which really surprises me. I've never seen the opening hood version of this. Love adding new castings to my collection, everybody. Love it. Okay. Next, we have the Cuda. 70 Plymouth Barracuda. In their proper colors. One yellow and one green. Very period correct colors. Wow, that's pretty sweet. Uh oh. One thing that's not that cool, though. Yeah. Okay. Well, okay. The casting is nice. But they did do something I don't like with this car. Casting is great. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful paint. Look at that paint job, everybody. It is gorgeous. Okay. The stripe is beautiful. The rear detail is nice. Front detail, you do have the button lights like the Camaro. But still, pretty decent. What I don't like is they put these tiny wheels on it. They put bicycle tires on this car. This car should have fat real riders on the back. And we've got basic factory store-bought tires on the back. Which... When it sits here, it looks all right. But it's just not right to me. I mean, look at it when you see the angle there. There's just too much space in the wheel wells. There's supposed to be a bit more tire there. For you guys that do wheel swaps, this is a perfect car to do it on because this car is just nasty. Just amazing looking. Paint and stance and everything is just gorgeous about this car if you just put some fat ones on the back it would be perfect but overall good looking car casting as i said is done beautifully beautiful cuda casting they did do a matte black roof which is period correct for this car but in my opinion, they just messed up on the wheels. But at least the real riders in chrome. At least that. Let's see this green version. Obviously, the green version is going to be the same. I mean, uh, I'm sure they didn't change them up. They didn't change the tires at all. Okay. But... Here's the green one. Also beautiful, beautiful paint. Beautiful paint finish. Matte black roof. Gloss black everywhere else. Metal base. 
skinny tires. Did the back, it was decent. Got the logo there, 340 Cuda, not bad. Button front. But why those tires? Why, 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 Mattel? Why would you do that? But the car looks good. Sitting in the case, you probably won't notice that. But nah, I'm going to notice it all the time. It needs fat ones on the back. I might just have to send this car out to uh, Simple Customs Eddie and have him change me some wheels on this one. If you're listening there, Eddie, let me know. Maybe I'll send these guys out to you. Anyways, guys, that's it for my video for today. Tell me what you think. Am I wrong with those tires? And let me know which one's your favorite out of the group that I picked up. I must say, I honestly, guys, as much as I love all my premium cars that I picked up today, this final run Porsche is just a gorgeous looking one. But it's a tough call. Anyways, guys, till next time, be safe, be well, happy hunting. Please subscribe, guys, and let me know uh, what you think, guys. Uh, leave me some comments. Tell me which one's your best one out of this group. All right? Ciao, guys.